Welcome back to Silvia's Health Hints. Today I would like to treat um, a subject, um, the iron deficiency. Uh, why iron deficiency? I would like to talk about this because um, iron has a lot of different functions in our body and it's, um, it's a deficiency which I find uh, pretty often in my patients, especially in the female patients and uh, it is responsible for a lot of symptoms which uh, tend to be misdiagnosed and at this point also not treated like they should. Like I told, iron deficiency is widespread and responsible for many different disorders. Nevertheless, it is not always uh, included in uh, routine um, blood work. Many conditions that may be associated with iron deficiency, along other vitamin and nutritional deficiencies, are not considered in diagnosed, uh, diagnosis and treatment. What is the role of iron in our body? The most important and most known function of iron is the formation of blood cells. The blood, um, the blood transports oxygen and important nutrition to organs and tissues. Then, energy production. Mitochondria, which uh, are in our human uh, cells, it's uh, like a human power plant, use iron to produce energy. Reduced energy production due to iron deficiency can lead to chronic fatigue and reduced brain performance. Then, hormone production. The formation of all hormones in the human body requires iron. Hormones fulfill many important functions in the organism. They are hormones that are responsible for mental well-being, so-called happiness hormones. If um, these are not produced in a sufficient quantity, it could lead to a depressed mood. Other hormones are responsible for concentration, still others for a healthy sleep. So you can see that a lot of consequences can be uh, due to iron deficiency. Difficulties to concentrate, to sleep, uh, sleeping disorders could be the result. Myoglobin formation. Myoglobin transports oxygen to our muscles. Iron deficiency can therefore lead, uh, lead to reduced physical performance and a longer recovery time. Immune system, also very important. Uh, for an optimally functioning immune defense, the immune system needs iron as well as vitamins and other nutrition. Iron deficiency can lead to an increased susceptibility of infections. Um, that you catch more often in um, infections and uh, recover slowly. Hair and nails. In case of iron deficiency, the nails become brittle and hair loss is observed. What kind of symptoms and disorders can be caused by iron deficiency? From the uh, above described functions of iron, one can derive uh, the resulting symptoms. Physical and mental exhaustion, burnout, lower levels of muscle strength, impaired concentration, increased susceptibility to infections, hair loss, brittle nails, nails, sleep disorders, depressed mood, frequent headaches and dizziness. The symptoms can be so severe sometimes that they can be confused with other pathologies such as depressive disorder, attention deficit syndrome, especially in children, Muscular, uh, muscular pathologies or immune defects. In one of this, uh, if one of these conditions is suspected, iron deficiency and other nutritional deficiencies should absolutely be investigated prior to the diagnosis and treatment. Many patients suffer from iron deficiency. Once treated, the symptoms disappear and there's no further investigation and therapy necessary. Which individuals are at risk to develop um, iron deficiency? First and um, uh, in first place, women in uh, menstrual age due to the monthly uh, blood list. Children are at risk because they have a much higher iron demand because of growth, which cannot always be covered by diet. Um, athletes need more iron than, not, non, uh, than persons that don't do sports uh, professionally. Elderly people can suffer from iron deficiency because they may not be optimally uh, nourished because of social withdrawal, loneliness and economic problems. However, in case of severe iron deficiency in elderly people, 
other reasons like for example gastrointestinal bleeding um, and tumors should be investigated. The diagnosis of iron deficiency. The diagnosis of iron deficiency is not easy to do. The symptoms can also have other causes. The diagnosis should be done in several steps. First, the appropriate symptoms should be asked. Um, then, a, a blood work should be carried out. It is important to note that different laboratories use different scales and um, the values, uh, the results from different laboratories cannot be always compared. This is also very important if you make a treatment for iron deficiency, you should, uh, the, the control blood work should be uh, done in the same lab. So now we come to the therapy for iron deficiency. Experience has shown that oral iron supplements do not increase iron levels sufficiently, especially in women um, who lose monthly uh, blood with the menstruation bleeding it is very difficult because what you take, you lose. In, in addition, they are not well tolerated by many patients because of gastrointestinal side effects. In the meantime, there are all products, products that uh, work a little bit better, uh, that they don't cause this, uh, the classic constipation and abdominal pain, but anyway, it's not so easy. Um, the most effective therapy is the intravenous iron substitution. For each patient, the individual single dose has to be calculated as much as necessary, as little as possible. First, a saturation therapy is performed in which the ferritin level is sufficiently raised. Um, a laboratory check uh, should be carried out two to three weeks after the administration. Then a second laboratory check should, be take, should take place about three months later to see if the level is maintained. Uh, for risk groups, the individual maintenance therapy should be calculated. For all others, it is, um, it is recommended to have a check once a year or if the symptoms come back. Intravenous iron substitution should only be carried out under supervision of a, a physician or in specialized centers because of the very small risk of an allergic reaction. Um, as this channel is uh, for expats and foreign people, I need to tell you that in Italy, it is um, at least this is my experience in Florence and Tuscany, not easy to get. Um, it's normally not uh, not performed in the in the hospital. It's not allowed to do it in a private practice, like I did, for example, while I worked in Switzerland. Um, so, in case you need a, an intravenous um, iron substitution, uh, it's um, much better uh, to do it in your home country. Normally, it's a treatment uh, depending a little bit on how how uh, severe your symptoms are how low your iron is. It is a treatment um, of uh, two or three administrations with a distance of one week. So you can plan it, for example, for summer holidays or something like this. Um, I hope um, that this was interesting information about uh, symptoms that a lot of people suffer from and that it could be an iron deficiency or at least a deficiency of iron and other vitamins. And um, I hope this uh, video was helpful. I thank you for watching it and see you next week.